Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showcasing the BookBeam Category Explorer. So the Category Explorer is, I think it's a very unique tool. I haven't seen anything like it out there up until, you know, up until now. And essentially it is a tool that is made to allow you to select, to find and to select the absolute best categories for your specific book, for whatever strategy that you have in mind. So there are 6,000, yes, more than 6,000 uh, categories for each of the formats, for Kindle, for books, and for audiobooks. So there are more than 6,000 categories for each, uh, each format on Amazon. And that's an insane amount of categories, and, and it can be very challenging and time-consuming to sift through these categories, to, you know, to look at the different rankings within these categories. I, I just noticed this is, this is a tool that I needed for myself. So what I noticed is that I was just, you know, spending so much time just browsing different categories, just going down the, you know, the different layers, going, checking the, checking the root categories, the final categories, and then going back up to the parent categories, then, you know, checking again, going through a different branch of categories. And it was just taking me so much time. I was comparing them. I was making notes. And I just realized that, you know, with a tool like this, you know, it can save me a massive amount of time, first and foremost, but secondly, it can also help me to find things. It can help me to sift through this huge, you know, this hu these huge numbers of categories. It can help me to sift through and pick out uh, the ones that I am, the categories that I am most interested in. And it's something that most likely, you know, us as humans wouldn't able, be able to uh, do, at least if we don't spend a huge amount of time on this. All right, let's get into it. So here I've opened up, you know, a random book uh, in the in the business category, and let me just explain how this will help you in your uh, help you for your book and help you to you know get more visibility and 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 more sales via optimizing your categories. So categories can be used, uh, you know, um, primarily it, it's a great way to um, let people discover. It's another avenue through which people can discover. Um, your book um, among a couple of other things like for example um, you know you can get uh, the number one bestsellers tag if you do rank number one in any category and it doesn't matter how uh, non-competitive it is you know if you're number one you get that orange bestsellers tag and it helps you to stand out in search results on it gives your book more credibility slightly more credibility when somebody is on um, is on your listing so, and Amazon allows us to pick two, um, two categories. Now, you might notice that you're always seeing three categories. Uh, why that is, is because the third category is just picked out, uh, picked from um, one of the two categories that you've selected um, automatically. It's kind of, a, it's somewhat a, of a strange system, but you know, that's how it is. And you know, there's, there's not much we can do about the third one. But about selecting the first two, so let's go over to the category explorer and let's open up the filter the filter section right here and so how category explorer works is that you have to first you have to select um, your filters so the filters will define in the filters you will define what you are interested in so let me explain let me show you so let's say we're you know we're looking for categories for a print book so we'll be you know we'll be selecting uh, books but of course, obviously you just select the format, whichever is relevant. And then I open up this section right here and I select which primary categories, which, which of the big parent categories that I would be interested in. And remember, there's thousands of categories and you know, this will help you to, um, this will narrow your search. So let's say I would be interested in cookbooks, maybe crafts, hobbies and home, and you know, computers and technology. Uh, but you know, this is up to you. You can use it in whichever way you want. That part is up to you, and Amazon does not limit, um, you know, limit which kind of categories we, we can put our book in. You can, um, up until now, at this point of uh, recording, you can still, you know, you, you can uh, put your category in, put your book in any category that, that you want. And next, let's say we're interested in categories where the number one book has a ranking that's not super high. Let's say 10k to 20k. So if we, if our overall ranking for our book, for example, is 15K and 18K for the current number one position in some imaginary category. We will be, we will be outranking this book 
uh, once we place this book in this category, once we ask Amazon to place our book in, in this new category, it will be ranking uh, number one and we will get that, you know, get more visibility, get that slight credibility from that bestsellers, number one bestseller tag. And you can do the same thing for top three rank and top five, but you don't necessarily have to. You can use the filters, you know, as, as you like, but the thing is more filters you choose, the, the smaller your, um, the smaller the selection of categories uh, that there, there will be just, just so you know. I mean, it's, it's fairly logical, but you know, the more specifics you want, the, the smaller the list of categories that Category Explorer will return for you. Another really cool filter, and I think this one is really valuable, is you can select the layer depth. And what this means is, so how Amazon structures categories, it structures them in layers. So here, for example, you have books, then computers and technology, then internet and social media, and then e-commerce. So how many layers is that? That's one, two, three, four, that's four layers. And so that means that your book, uh, if your book has, makes enough sales, depending on how competitive these categories are, your book has the opportunity, the chance to be seen in each of these categories. So it could be seen in the e-commerce category. It could be ranking there and people could discover it. It could be seen in the internet and social media category. And same for computers and technology. So in each of these categories, it has the opportunity to uh, be seen. And so with this filter, you can select how many layers that you want. So it's, it goes from two or more to three or more to five or more. So five or more, that's, um, you know, that's, that's not that common. So we'll, you know, we'll say three plus. We want at least uh, three categories that we, we have the opportunity to rank in at least. So that's three or more, three until five or six. So, and then we click find categories and Category Explorer returns a list of categories that fits our criteria. So here, you know, we see, we see all of these categories and if you click the link, you know, it will bring you to the category to um, where you can check it out a little bit further. And so here it shows us all of this information. It shows us the layers. And by the way, you can sort it based on the layers, but here we have only, you know, we only have four layers. So, you know, you're not, you're not really seeing anything move, but you can also sort based on uh, top one rank. So this is already very interesting. So we can basically sort uh, here. I put it to have the lowest top one ranking, the lowest ranking of the top one position um, possible. So let me ex let me let me show you. Let me illustrate. So this is I know this is maybe slightly more advanced for some of you guys. Let me open this up and I'll, I'll illustrate slightly, you know, in slightly more concrete terms what I mean. So I just opened up this category. I'll check the first book and this is what its ranking is. So it's 22,000. Here, the last time that uh, Category Explorer was updated, it was 18,000. And so this just shows me that this specific category, uh, if I'm outranking 18,000, I can be number one. I would just go to Amazon. I would say, hey, please, please put my book into this category. And I would select another category that I like, that fits, my, fits what I'm looking for, fits my strategy. And I, I would say, Amazon, please put this, Please put my book in this category and you know this would this would you know really help my listing um, and you know have all the benefits that I mentioned earlier and li likewise again just to be just for sake of clarity we have top three ranking position top five ranking position all of which you can use to you know sort the data based on again based on what you're interested in and here on the side it shows us the uh, the average price for all the books that's an interesting kind of element that we can you know we can see kind of compare where the average is in this category and perhaps where you stand so for these it looks like the price points are fairly high you know it's it's in the mid teens and you know we have some 20 20 something average prices as well so they're relatively you know high price points which is you know something again you can use for your decision making and so on. So guys, that is the category explorer for you. Again, it's something that will make the category selection process and category optimization process very seamless, very quick, and a very, I think I can use the word easy. It will actually make it um, easy for you and save all of that, you know, all of that hassle and you can gain back your time, which you can, again, you know, in invest or use, use in other ways. 
All right, so that's Category Explorer. I'll see you guys in one of our future upcoming uh, videos.